Inferno. I believe the eruption will occur in 52 seconds. Are you sure? I would not state it if I wasn't. Yes, that can be painful. Yeah, will you look at that? Are you done? Almost. Look, does anyone have nail clippers? Rodney. Ah, not helping. All right. So, hyperdrive's ready. Nursal dampeners engaged. Shields are up. We're good to go. Oh, whoa. What? I got up too fast. 40 seconds. Where's PA? Arm with a chair. All right, folks. All chairs and seat backs since you're upright and locked positions. So hold your breath. It could happen any time in the next half an hour. Are there any survivors aboard? Yes, sir. In fact, we have a pretty big passenger list. <laughs> the explosion was every bit as destructive as I feared. The uh, ash cloud has encircled the entire planet. Will the Turanian people ever be able to go home? Not for many years, I'm afraid. We found a planet that Chancellor Lycus feels is suitable for them. We've already started relocating the people there. I'd like you and your team to assist them. Just to make sure the relocation goes smoothly. I'll take a repair team back to the Orion, get the engines fixed. I thought you told Marina you couldn't fix it. It was never a question of whether or not I could fix it. it... Well, as quickly as you can, Rodney. The Chancellor has graciously allowed us to use the ship in exchange for our help. I assume there's still a hive ship on the way? Yes. Why only one ship? We don't know. Maybe they're just coming to prove we're still here. But if they manage to do that... Well, at least we've got the Orion now, and the city's supply of drones has been replenished. It's enough to put up a hell of a fight. Let's not fool ourselves. If they come in full force, and there is no reason to believe that they won't this time, then I'm sorry, but... It's not going to be enough. That's all we've got. 